This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, I imported an OBJ file that has a texture map associated with it. How can I apply this map to the model in ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I've gone and exported out a OBJ file from another application that had a texture map linked to it. So here are the files that were exported out. So I have a PSD file here, I have an MTL file, and then I have the OBJ file. So I want to import this OBJ file into ZBrush, and then I want to link the texture map back to it. So how can I go by doing that? So I'm going to go back into ZBrush here, and I'm just going to make sure I have a PolyMesh 3D star selected, and I'm going to import in that OBJ file. So I'm going to navigate to the tool palette up here, and I'm simply just going to click Import. Now when the import window opens up, I'm just gonna select the OBJ file and then simply click open. So after this loads in, you'll see I have the OBJ file loaded in. So it's a version of Earthquake here. And now I want to import in that texture map and apply it to this model. So to do this, I need to first navigate up here to the texture palette and open this up. And I need to just import in the texture file. So I'm gonna come to the texture palette and click import. And now this time I'm gonna select that texture map that was exported from the external application. It's just simply clicking open. After this is loaded in, you'll notice that in the texture palette here, it is now showing the earthquake map. So now I just need to link that map to the model. So I'm gonna navigate back over to the tool palette over here, go down to the texture map area, open that up. I'm gonna click this blank spot right here, which is gonna open up the quick pick menu. And I'm just gonna select the map that we just loaded in. So just coming over here and simply clicking. And now this should load onto the model. Now you'll notice that the texture map has loaded and it is being shown on Earthquake here, but it doesn't look correct. So oftentimes if you export models from another application, you'll have to flip the model textures before they will load or look correct on the model inside of ZBrush. So the process to do this is fairly simple. You just need to navigate back up to the texture map palette up here, select the texture map that we just imported in, and we just simply need to do a vertical flip. So we need to click this flip vertical. This is gonna take the map and it's just going to flip it in the vertical axis. Now after this is flipped, we just need to go back over to the tool palette over here, go back to our texture map area, click the earthquake texture here, and then just simply re-click the texture. This will refresh the texture and now it should look correct on earthquake. So you can see here, I have the texture map now loaded in onto that OBJ file. If you want to turn the texture off, you just simply come over here and click texture on, and this will toggle the texture on and off. You can also take this texture map and bake it into Earthquake's vertices for use with polypainting. To do this, you can navigate over here to the polypaint tab, open this up, and simply do polypaint from texture. So to do this, just make sure you have RGB on if you only want the color values, and then just come over here and click polypaint from texture. When you do this, it's going to take those texture map values and it's going to bake it into the vertices of the model. Now, depending on how many polygons your model has, you may see some blurring in that texture, but if simply just subdividing your model up will give you more topology, which will allow you to capture more details from that texture map. After you have the model in poly paint format, you can now paint directly on your model. So if I come over here and turn off this texture, turn off Z add for the standard brush, and now select say a color like so, I can now come across Earthquake and paint. This is painting directly on Earthquake's vertices. If you want to turn this new version of Earthquake back into a texture map, you can do that as well. So if I go back to the tool menu and then go back to the texture map area, there is a create option here. And from here, I can create a new map based on the polypaint information. So based on this version of Earthquake that I just painted on, and I can do new from polypaint. And this is now going to take that polypaint or vertex color and convert it back to a map. So you can go back and forth between texture maps and polypainting after you have it loaded in. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.